All right, so my name is Marcus Trice, and this is a quick video on making a Kydex press. And I've got a couple of hinges, some screws, the uh, foam, two by four, and uh, three quarters plywood. It's actually nice plywood. It's like an oak one. I used it uh, to make uh, some bookshelves. I do have a couple of these. And I've realized that uh, this space in here is not going to be far enough apart. So I'm going to have to get a bigger uh, clamp for when I'm actually doing the compression and forming. Now I'm getting ready to cut the wood on my dangerous table saw. It's got no guards on it. It's a hand-me-down. And now I'm going to be cutting the 2x4 for the back part where it hinges. All right, so working on it a little bit and uh, discover a couple of things that is I used the three quarters but I think that the foam is a little thicker than maybe the, pl the original plans were asked asking for so I had to put an extra strip along here um, to put the hinges on so that this would open left a gap so that it would open initially put two screws in here but I realized that it would keep it flush with this and if you put pressure with a, uh, with a clamp on here, this end would not come down. So now it, there's a pivot point here, almost like the, it's like a, a teetering table, kind of. I mean, it functions, opens up and closes. Um, but if you put a, if you have an item in here, like a handgun sitting in this area here, and you put a clamp here, it's gonna have e pretty much equal pressure here and here, if you clamp it in the middle. So as you push down, there'll be some um, pulling away from these four holes there a little bit, not much. These are pretty big screws that should hold everything together. I think the main purpose of this really is just to have a lid um, that you can, I don't know which side the foam is, I don't know if it's on this side or this side, but I'm assuming it's this side and I don't know whether or not to glue it on here or not. But anyway, so that is my little uh, press.